So what you just saw is uh, the agenda, the media general agenda, and throughout the week and subsequent days ahead of us, this is what you're going to be seeing. If they're going to shine the light, turn our lenses on the no bed syndrome as to whether it is still a problem or measures I shall have been put in place absolutely. to address this particular because situation. Several which led people to have lost their absolutely lives. Absolutely, lost mm. their lives, mm. many, many, many of them, and actually families have been rendered really, really in trouble as a result of this. What do we have? Well, the situation of the no bed syndrome has brought uh, has been brought under control. These were the words of the head of department at the Accident Emergency and Orthopedic Center of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital in Accra, Dr. Frederick Kwarting. He attributed the fee to management decision to establish a well-functioning bed bureau department. Evelyn Tingma has more. Somewhere last year, the issue of no bed syndrome became very topical in this country, and you could call it an epidemic. And this is because most of the public hospitals didn't have enough beds to accommodate patients. As a result, most patients who come here were turned away, and the Kolebu Teaching Hospital was no exception. Now, most of these hospitals were directed not to turn away patients. As a result, Patients who come here were treated on the floor, others on benches and others on wheelchairs. Now, it's been a year on and we want to find out here at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital what the situation is. This is the old 36-bed capacity accident and emergency center, which in 2018 witnessed congestion at the reception and wards. Today, the place is being redesigned into a clinical decision-making unit where some patients would be moved into in order to avoid congestion in other wards. During the time of the no-bed syndrome, the Kolebu Teaching Hospital decided to renovate one of its buildings into another accident and emergency center. We are currently at the new emergency center here at Kolebu and it is actually a 70-bed capacity center. Now, if you come here as we speak, the place is quite spacious, not like before, where you come here and you see patients being treated on the floor. Now, we even have empty beds over here, and this is because some measures have been put in place to ensure that patients are treated and discharged as early as possible so that others can take the beds. The new center has a pharmacy, doctors and nurses sections, a two-bed intensive care unit, and has been designated into red, yellow and orange with the colors determining where a patient would be placed depending on his or her illness severity. The hospital has also set up a 24-hour laboratory within the facility further helping to reduce congestion. The only lab that was mainly a central lab and a lot of things were not done there so people have to assess other lab tests across the street and when you assess outside the street to take you a day or two before you get the results. And the more the results are delayed, it means that the patient will also be delayed at the accident emergency department. Head of department at the Accident, Emergency and Orthopedic Center, Dr. Frederick Kwarteng said, the new measures were put in place by hospital management. The biggest intervention, um, which was done by the central management of the hospital, uh, that has been adequately implemented was the establishment of a well-functioning uh, bed bureau uh, department. We don't have patients who have already had care spending more than 48 hours in the emergency room. So there is quick flow of patients out of the emergency. He said the hospital's central management has posted about 50 nurses and 40 doctors to the emergency center, further bringing the no bed syndrome under control. We have in place 24 hour uh, service of doctors and nurses who are in the position to take care of all emergencies that are brought. Once you are brought in as an emergency, even if uh, the emergency is full, we don't send you away. We take you through a triaging process. If, at, if a triaging means we try and sort you uh, into degrees of severity of your illness. He said the 70 beds in the new emergency center are enough 
and hopeful the no bed syndrome in Kolebu would be a thing of the past. All over the world, you don't need much of bigger uh, beds, numbers, say 100 or 200 beds to manage emergency care. What is important is to have an emergency where there is continuous flow of patient out of the emergency. Well, management of Kolebu says they are well positioned to contain any no bed syndrome challenge. But we ask, what is the situation in other government hospitals? TV3 will visit a number of hospitals and update viewers on the no bed syndrome phenomenon. Evelyn Tenkma, TV3 News, Accra.